Hello everyone and welcome to Colorful Pages. I hope you all are doing very well. And today once again I am back with another wonderful tutorial. Now why it is a wonderful tutorial because the technique which is followed here is made for those who have a little tight hand in painting. So for all these kind of people this kind of painting will be very easy. Uh, what we are doing exactly is roller printing and this is also called stencil printing because we use both the things while printing on the fabric. I have particularly made my kurta using this technique. You can also make different different items which you want to like maybe saris, maybe dupattas, maybe curtains, bed sheets, pillow covers, cushion covers and many more things. Now all the material which I will use in this technique will be explained very nicely in the tutorial itself. So without wasting any time, let's get started. This is my plain solid color, gray color, dark gray color kurta. Uh, absolutely plain it is. So I wanted to design it. It has a three quarter sleeve like this and it has a boat neck also. I intend to do stencil printing on it. Now stencil printing is something which is very easy and I want to tell you that you must try doing this stencil printing. It is absolutely easy. The things which I will need here, I will be showing you one by one. First thing I am using this kind of kurta which is already stitched kurta. You can do it on semi stitch, you can do it on plain fabric. Not only kurta, you can make various other things with the help of this. Uh, technique that stencil technique next thing is something like this which is a ready-made stencil this is basically what I have used a stencil from Asian paint uh, this is a design beautiful design which I just like and this was actually meant to be painted on wall but I like this pattern so much that I bought it and I thought to make it on my kurta so ready-made stencil I have not made it uh, this is Asian Paint Company stencil. Next thing is one spoon, plastic spoon. I will be using Pedialyte. This is gold color and this is gold powder. Okay, this is a powder, gold dust. This I am using Asian Paint. I am using a varnish. This is Touchwood varnish from Asian Paint. Also, I will be needing some container to mix this varnish into the uh, gold and I will be using some rollers. So here I have with me this roller which can be used for the same. So this is a roller. It was a set of three rollers which I bought online from Amazon. So with this we will do the printing on the fabric. So this is just something very interesting. Uh, I will keep this aside and I will show you first step which is mixing of these two things that is the gold dust with the varnish. So I will teach you how to mix this varnish, touchwood varnish with this gold and create a gold color which will be absolutely amazing first step of course opening the lid of this <laughs> this is also first step huh? come on right so i've just opened this varnish i have a box like this this is airtight box i've used this, used a, a disposable box for this and i will take one spoon plastic spoon and i'm going to mix the varnish till the end till the bottom first okay and then I am going to pour some varnish in this container. So roughly I have poured say one quarter that is the one fourth of varnish I have poured in this container and the rest I will keep on a newspaper so that the table doesn't get dirty. So we will put it like this and we will open this. This is the gold dust. I have used Fabricol company gold dust. It is a powder and I will mix this 
in this so little amount little by little i will go for mixing don't just pour the entire thing into this in one go so just little by little and with the help of spoon you need to mix it thoroughly see mixing is a very important step if it is not mixed properly your work will not be good so mixing is an extremely extremely important process so thoroughly 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 mix it nicely and you already can see the gold see the beautiful gold color beautiful gold color right and i think i should add little bit more so bit of more so roughly one fourth is left here now that means three fourth of the bottle into one fourth of the varnished and like this again i'm going to mix it thoroughly so this gold color is ready now absolutely ready to be used see and just put the gold in the newspaper one drop you will come to see how nice it is see how beautiful gold now i feel it is a bit transparent because i can see the letters under the black letters of this newspaper so what i will do i will add some more so this way you can check how much gold you need okay this is the simple way to check the transparency test of gold right so one bottle of the gold dust into one fourth container of your varnish so this is how much uh can't make out how much varnish this is this is 200 ml okay so one fourth means round 50 ml 50 ml of varnish into one bottle of dust so thoroughly mix again and let's go for the test the newspaper test see now it is opaque this is how you test whether your mixture is correct or not now i have used the lid type of container after i have used i can just put the lid remove the spoon then put the lid and i can use it again all right so let us start printing on the fabric now so now i have taken a waste this is a lid of some container old one and it has this kind of box i used it because this was exactly the size of my roller okay it will be quite convenient for me to use this area also if i will take too big the color will be wasted and it will be too small then my roller will not be able to absorb the color so we have to be very careful about selecting the plate which we will use for the roller this is the mixture which we have just created in front of you and we are going to pour it like this on the plate and we are going to move our roller on it see the roller is going to absorb the color nicely and how you will come to know you will come to know from here the side of the roller whether the color has been absorbed nicely or not so like this nicely the color should be absorbed i will keep all these things aside for the time being and i will get back to the kurta the fabric so this is the front side of my fabric my kurta and this is dancing here and there so i think i should first fix this so before fixing it we need few newspapers like this so i am taking sheets of newspaper which i will place in between these two layers of the fabric otherwise what will happen if i will print in front it will seep into the back side of the kurta so like this just nicely keep the newspaper and set it nicely with your hands stretch the fabric yes i want it little up also i will keep on adding the layers of newspaper slowly slowly as per it is required for now i am just putting newspaper till one length as much it will come on the table so another sheet of newspaper i have taken 
be generous in using newspaper because it's going to save your back side of the kurta from getting printed just put it like this see okay that's done nicely very nicely now i will use some tape that's the masking tape doctor's tape whatever you want to call it and i will fix this on to the table top like this the work will be easy just some corners fix it so that see my cloth is synthetic so it will tend to move left and right if you are using a cotton cloth you will not face so much of problem you can do it without fixing this on the table also but since my cloth is synthetic i am a bit worried that this will trouble so that is why i am putting it the tape so we'll keep the things aside extra things i want to place the design first for placing the design i want to see where what i want to put i want to start right from the top now if i start right from the top this tape is troubling me so i will just remove this much area and then i will fix it again see see now this area i don't want because this is the arm hole so i need to hide this area also so that the arm hole doesn't get the print for that again one new paper will be used so here i take another layer of newspaper and i will put like this so that this area doesn't get the print see i think we should add thin layer of newspaper and just set it according to the arm hole this is how i have done now let's fix this also for safety later on all these tapes will go so you don't have to worry about the tapes too much just fix them nicely so that it is easy for you to use it that's done i fold the tape and keep so that it becomes easy to catch where you have left it okay that's done my roller is also ready and quickly i am going to start the printing work see how easy just keep the roller press and print keep the roller press and print this is absolutely easy work effortless now i feel that there is less color so i will keep the roller aside i will pour some color into the tray one or two spoons i have poured like this and again i will load the roller with the color the gold dust and again i will dust i will use to see how nicely beautiful design it's going to be amazing so i will just remove all this and see first take out the tapes this i call super fast painting because this happens everything here super fast see how nice print is there amazing now little part i want to add over here in the armhole area so i'm folding this newspaper and i'm keeping this back because i'm feeling this area is left okay i'll just press this nicely and this area also
see now we'll remove don't be in a hurry of removing quickly just see that everything is done properly only then you remove it see how nicely print now take out the extra tapes from here i don't need the newspaper now and remove all the tapes and we can now reset the pattern so just according to your wish reset the pattern over here see i have done so but i want it to come on the table so i am removing the tapes and i will pull this whole thing up see also ensure that the newspaper is there right so my this thing is ensured correct position i will take some more gold color pour into the tray loaded <laughs> i was about to say uploaded yeah that's the uh, gift upload delete <laughs> that's the gift of computer age technology right so we are full of uploading deleting adding cut copy paste now so here it is now we are uploading the color <laughs> loading the color onto the fabric i think there is the newspaper here is missing so very nicely i am adding the newspaper onto this area yeah that was actually missing good that i noticed this and now again it's ready to be done need to press it a bit like this you can prepare your party wear dresses also in no time see i am talking to you and i am also printing at the same time absolutely easy work it's a beautiful flower just make sure that the print is nicely on the fabric once you are satisfied you can just remove it and see how it looks see beautiful printing effortless art effortless so i will just keep this aside because i want to shift the fabric upwards and i want to add some more uh new zipper to it and now quickly we are going to finish this printing work Now this is beautifully done but I will not shift and show you the entire fabric right now I will show you the final result only when this is dried so this I have done at night morning only I am going to change it if now I will slide it here and there the design is going to get ruined this is the condition of the stencil which we have used but not to worry this is a reusable stencil i am going to use turpentine oil or kerosene oil to wash this and again it will be used the same will be with this roller also and now this that is the gold dust so some is left so what i will do i have this container lid i am going to put it like this and i can do some other art work with this leftover gold color now let's see how this looks like i am sure you have like making this kurta with me and wow what an easy technique it was 
I'm sure you have liked it very much. And this suit of mine marks the start of summer season here because I have designed it on a very nice flowy lizzy busy kurta. And you can see what a beautiful umbrella uh, plazo I have made with this. And see the nice design, simple and nice. And not more than half an hour it took me to make this kind of printing kurta for myself. I have also club and or Kelza plain dupatta with this because I wanted to highlight my design. I never wanted it to lose its dominance. I am sure you are going to make one like this for yourself. Don't forget to make like this for your friends and family also. Uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Stay tuned for more creative videos. Stay healthy, stay happy, keep learning always.